Hello and welcome to Raising the Bar with me, Mr. Bar. Today we're going to be completing the square. So I've been given an equation x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. What I want to do is use it to complete the square. Right, I'm going to complete the square with this equation and that's going to allow me to do lots of things, but mainly get some marks on my GCSE. The first thing I need to do, the trick, is to take this bit and half it, right? Half the middle. That's going to be negative 3. Half negative 6 is negative 3. And I've got an x squared, but I want to rewrite it like this. If you want to know why this next bit works, I can do that in another video, but now I'm just going to tell you what to do. Now, I'm going to square whatever's here and take it away. So, this is negative 3, so I'm going to do negative 3 squared, 9, and I'm going to take it away, so I get negative 9. I've still got this plus 5, and it's still equal to 0. So what I need to do now is finish that off. So I've got x minus 3 squared minus 9 plus 5 gives me take negative 4, and that is equal to 0. This is completed square form, that's where all the marks are. But if it asks for turning point or line of axes, uh, sorry, line of reflection for a quadratic, this is a quadratic, it will look something like this because it's got a positive coefficient of x here, so it's going to look like that. Now, the line of reflection is going to be at the very middle, the very bottom of the curve, and this tells me where the bottom is. So it's going to be an x coordinate of the inverse of this, so it's going to be three along. And this bit is my y coordinate, which is negative four. So those are the coordinates of the turning point, and the line of reflection here is x equals three. So that's what I can do with completing the form. It's worth a few marks. Half the middle, square it, take it away, and then do that math. And that's it. Enjoy. Let me know if you want to know why this works. I could try and do a video on it later. Bye-bye. Peace.